Another word is pride. Thank you, Father. The Lord asked me to tell someone. He said, the chain that the enemy tied around your waist, that he uses in pulling you back anytime you want to move forward, the chain is broken. Pride is a terrible wall. Why? Oh, the Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 6, James chapter 4, verse 6, it says, God resists the proud. How can you move forward when God is the one pushing you backwards? How can you? I've said it before. If a demon is blocking your way and you say, I command you, get out of my way. And the demon says, in whose name are you saying, in the name of Jesus? And he will get out of the way. But if an angel is the one blocking your way, and you say, I command you, get out of my way. He says, in whose name? You say, in the name of Jesus, he says, he's the one who asked me to stand here. God receives the proud. In fact, Psalm 73, verse 6, Psalm 73, verse 6 says, a proud man is like a man in chains. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Proverbs 16, verse 18 says, Destruction follows pride. When pride comes, then destruction follows. Proverbs 29, verse 23. Proverbs 29, verse 23 says, Pride brings a man low. In 2 Kings chapter 5, from verse 1 to 14, 2 Kings chapter 5, from verse 1 to 14, but for the grace of God, Naaman would have lost his healing. He would have died a leper. Because when he came and the man of God said, go to Jordan and wash and be clean, he said, me? General Neyman, and there are better rivers where I'm coming from. Can't I go there and wash and be clean? A leper dictating how he should be healed. Thank God for extended mercy. May God extend his mercy to you tonight. Of people when they are talking, that is you. Thank God for your humility. Thank God for your humility. I learned my lesson the hard way. You don't know who is sitting before you. Yeah. <laughs> I was poor and proud. In every area, just proud. And then there's nothing to show for the pride. Became born again. When I became born again, I was the most educated man in the church. So I became the interpreter for Papa, the general superintendent. And every other pastor left me to interpret for him. When other pastors wanted an interpreter, they took somebody else. There were quite a few interpreters anyway. Then one day, 
one pastor just came to me and said, Brother, you'll be interpreting for me today. Huh? Me? I didn't say it loud, though. <laughs> what does he, who does he think he is? Asking me. <laughs> the special interpreter for the Baba? This pastor. I interpreted for him because in the redeemed Christian Church of God, <laughs> a worker can't say no to a pastor. And you've heard the story before. Because one of the gifts God gave me early in my Christian life was the ability to hear from him. We finished the sermon. The man didn't know how my, my heart was boiling. If he had known, he would have asked me to go and sit down. And he would have taken another interpreter. And as I was going to my car, and in those days, in the entire redeemed Christian Church of God, there were five cars. And my own was one of the newest, and it was second hand. As I was going to my car, God spoke and said, ah, so you are now too big to interpret for my servant. And suddenly, heaven was shut. I didn't hear a word from God anymore. And the devil knew that I wasn't hearing. So he tormented me as much as he could. I pray that God will not resist to you. <laughs> I wept, I prayed, I, read, I fasted, I did it, and God didn't talk. Everyone was silent. God will not be silent to you. <laughs> it got so bad that I, one day I prayed, I said, God, forgive me this once. And if I'm going to offend you again tomorrow, please kill me today. Then he knew he got me. And he started speaking again. And by the grace of God, he has been speaking ever since. Hi there. Have you ever wondered why the word of God is so powerful and eternal? Well, and that is because God is also an eternal being. Right from existence, God have not ceased to fulfill every bit of the word he has spoken. Through the words of his servants, the likes of our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Stay put because God's word that you've listened to has the potency to change and transform your life. Well, for more of these videos, like and subscribe, and also click the notification bell so as to stay in touch. It's our daily uploads. God bless you.